Good everyone. My name is Graphics. If you look at the right hand side of the screen, you will see a question. And we are told to reproduce that given um, figure in autographic projection. The figure is already in oblique projection. We are told to draw it in what? Autographic projection. Now, I have successfully reproduced the figure on my drawing sheet, right? Which is what we have here. This is what we have. And I want to draw this in autographic projection. So the first thing you are going to do when you the word autographic projection is for you to draw your autographic axis. You are not asked to redraw the figure, but you are only asked to what? Draw the views associated to this figure. So I will draw this. The first thing I will do is to draw what? My um, views, right? The first thing I will do is to draw my autographic axis. Like you draw your y axis this way, right? And you draw your x axis this way. Draw y axis, you draw your x axis. Can you see that? And you measure 2 millimeter away from the center, I mean 5 millimeter away from the center in this manner from 0 to 5, right? 0 to 5, and you take it up this way, and you take it up this way. You do the same thing again from this center you measure five millimeter up and you also measure five millimeter down and you take it this way and also this way hope oh, you can see that now the next thing you do you draw the right axis so this is the first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant now we are to draw looking at this direction our arrow is facing here if you draw the canal direction what you are going to see now the question is if i look from here what will i see right and looking from that direction this is what i am going to see let me show you So this is what I will see looking at it from this side. You're going to see all these four corners here. Let me call all this part here. Let me call it part A. So you're going to see part A. All these four figure here. Right? Now you cannot looking from here, you cannot see the space in between. Right? And look at the distance of the space here. So what you're going to do is, you see the straight line? You cannot see it from here. So I'm going to use hidden line to represent it, looking at it from the side. Strange that there's a hidden feature that's in between this figure here. Now if you're looking for me also, you cannot see this line here. You see it is a straight line here, right? So I cannot see it from here. So I will now show that there's what? The hidden feature. Just like me casting my image on the mirror. Right, so using the extra extra vision, you see that there's a hidden feature in between. So this is what you're going to draw at uh, this part here, right? So let's do that and see how it goes. So you just take the entire distance from the figure, which is 30. You measure 30 on your meter rule. This is 30 here, which I already have. Or you measure your meter rule 0 to 3, and you start placing it from the outer corner here, and you mark. And the height also is 30 from the same corner you're going to mark. So you bring out that four that figure that, that you have in this way, and then this way too. Can you see that? Now, the next thing is um, the entire length here is 30 and it's ticking from here to here, it's ticking. You can see that. So I'm going to thicken it. Can you see that? 
the entire height also at this side here the, is what you are taking this thing and you're placing it here and that is the height 30 of taking it from here to here which is from here to here and here to here right and the thickness from here to here which is from here to here and that is 10 so you take 10 from your meter rule and you place it there and you mark and you're going to also here also is 10 you place it from here to you mark 10 so what you should just do is take your meter rule draw a horizontal line this way and also come here draw a vertical line that will touch here then you come here you close it up and you come here you also close it up and you close it up too can you see that so the hidden line like i said earlier to get where it is positioned you're going to measure 10 millimeter can you see this 10 millimeter which is something that's from here to here can you see that and i'll place it here this 10 millimeter also you measure 15 on your meter rule that is from this point to this point or you go to your meter rule and you measure 15 so from so you measure 15 on your meter rule from 0 to this is 15 so i can just place it here can you see that so at this point here i'm going to draw my hidden line so the 10 i measured from here is here can you see that and the um, 15 i measure too is here at this point can you see that so you put in your dimension in. so from here to here is the 10 and here also is 10. So this is what you are seeing, looking at it from this side. You are not asked to do this. I'm using this to explain to you. Are we there? So if you know you are finding this useful, please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to this channel. Now the next target is to draw the um, elevation or the plan. Right? It's going to draw the plan. Now if I look it from the top, right, what will I see? Now this is what I am going to see, looking from the top. This is what we have. We are going to see number one. Let me call it number B. And this is what B, you see it looking from the top. We are going to see this side, let me call it C. From here, this is also what C. Out there. Then this line you see here, you cannot really you see it as a straight line this way, right? So this is um, E, this is D, this is also what D, and the other side which you cannot see, I'll call it E. And the line in between, this is a line in between, right? Similarly, you're going to see all the shapes here that you're seeing here, I'll call it what F, right? Let me just call it to be F. Here should be my F prime my f prime prime yes yes my f prime my f prime prime then this space you see here is this space here so that way you're going to see so that way you're going to draw out right so if i should project this downward this way i'll project this downward this way which you see now the question is um if from here to here is from here to here automatically the same thing as saying from here to here right which is from here to here i hope you understand that then the height here will just be from here to here and that is what that's going to be what also 30 from here to here is 30 right so it's giving us 30 giving us what as 30 also 0 to 30 so i'll just come here uh, mark my 30 which I am going to close up. So when I close it up this way, right now we are moving forward. I'll project this downward, and I'll put ticking here to here. From here to here, you're seeing it's giving us from here to here, right? 
you know brings it down to so we have five millimeter five millimeter at that point so i'm going to measure it out so let's do that and see from zero this is five this is another five here all right and i'm going to take in it from here to touch here from here to touch here then the rest is coming from here to here and this one is coming from here to here then i'm going to close here up the beginning to the end i'm only trying to replicate if you've seen here and here if you've seen this inclined line as a straight line that's why everything here is straight you see this inclined line as a straight line because you are looking some from the plan just like looking at the mountain top you see it as a dot right so this was happening looking a curve or an inclined line from vertical position perpendicular you see it as a straight line then we move forward then the center one here which is at this point I just easily get the center point so you just draw your line this way diagonals and also diagonals here so where they meet is the center of that line so i'll just draw a line across that point hope you can see that so the next thing we'll do is this also is giving us five two right so i can easily just use this since this is five so i'll just stick in from here to here I'll come here to this is five. I'll take it from here to here. Right, I'm talking about this side here, five millimeter each. Then I'm going to close down here. And I'll close down here too. I'll close here too. Hope you can see that. So the next thing we're going to be drawing here will be what? The end view. Right? So the end view is looking at from the front here. What will you see? So looking at the front, let's see what we are going to be having here. Let me take it down a little bit. So we have where we'll draw our end view. This is what we have here. Looking at it from this side, you are going to see this point. We are looking at it from here. You see, let me call it with let's say here is G. Here is H. You'll be seeing G. You'll be seeing H. Right, and all this side, you've seen all this straight line, this line, and this line, you see them as a straight line all together. So that is why there's a straight line here. So look as if this two points here is located at the beginning, since they are all in one plane. Right, so you see this shape you see here, you've seen it here, and this shape, this one is here, you've seen it here this way, looking it from the front. You only be seen at the front here. All good. So that is what we have there. So that is what I am going to reproduce here. So I will just take my meter rule here and I'll just draw 45 degrees at this side here. Right? And I'll project this upward this way. You get the end view. And I'll come here too. I'll close it up this way. So in doing that, I'll take this up here this way, right? So once I've done that, I'm really taking all this. You see here, from here to here, it's taking the same level as this, from here to here also, the same level as this. Then yeah, I'll just use this to get the other one, right? So I'll take it up. Then I'll project here too. I'll project here too. And I'll take it up. Can you see what I'm showing you? I'll project it up. So since I'm talking about this line here, which is this line? Is a part of this, right? Which is a part of this here. So if I project this this way, meaning that I will join this to this point 
and this to this point and I'll close it up and close it up then bring the rest down so we can see that so this is what we have this is the this is what you are told to do this is just an explanation of what we said how to produce this so um if this is in first angle production if you're going to draw in third angle you take these two you take them down then you bring these two you take them up and you should know that this inclined line will be like this if you want to watch the isometric production on how i produce this in isometric you can click on the top right screen here to assess the video if you found the video helpful please don't forget to like subscribe and also share the video